All right, Sky Masters, it's Krios here, and I'm going to do my own version of how to mod on No Man's Sky because I just think that uh, I think there's a few things that are missing kind of from all the ones that I've seen, and I wanted to make my own kind of a quick version and maybe miss uh, get some key elements that I thought were missing out of some other videos. So first of all, if you're coming over from the Xbox version and you had Game Pass or something like that, I'm sorry to tell you that these mods are not going to work. The file system is kind of uh, um, wonky and it doesn't work with these. Uh, I know a few people have tried to do some workarounds. I don't know, it's correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't believe it's uh, gonna happen for you. Also, if you're uh, on the other um, platform, I'm not quite sure, but uh, let me know in the comments and we can steer people around. I might even look into that too and, and have it uh, in the comments as well. So if you're on Steam, let's proceed forward. So the first thing I would do is get familiar with where your installation is. So most people are gonna default to C drive. So that's probably where most of you guys are going to find it, but wherever you have installed your game, I have installed mine on H. So I'm actually gonna go into the file system over here. We're gonna see here's my H, and I'm gonna go into my Steam library, and we'll see Steam Apps, Common, No Man's Sky, and then we have our game data folder right here. Now what I would do here in this case, I would just go ahead and right click it and make a, um, uh, create a shortcut and then drag that shortcut over to your desktop as you can see I have my shortcut right here right on top of my guy but I have three little folders and you know, here's my second game I have multiple versions of the game too we're going to talk about that maybe in another video but um, uh, you know if you're going to be in and out of these files you might want to make them easy accessible so all you have to do is come over here and click and then I have my <clears throat> PC banks folder right here that I can go in and, and change because mods don't get along in No Man's Sky. So <clears throat> we're going to talk about that later. So the easiest you can access this, it just makes it easier. This is what I would do. Okay, so we are in our folder that we have just found. And we've made a shortcut that we can get to it very quickly. So what we're going to do is in this folder there is going to be a file called disable mods now this file needs to be taken out of this or the game is going to see that file first and it won't even look for mods it won't go past that file so you need to take that file out now this file is in place because the game updates so often and they knew that they were going to do this so every time they update they put this file back in to this location to disable mods because most likely all the mods that you're using after an update are going to be broken and they're not going to work anymore and they need to be updated this is like kind of a love hate thing with uh, no man's sky and modding so um you're going to need to get rid of that file and you're going to need to keep on getting rid of that file after each update so modding is going to take a lot of maintenance and getting used to what mods work together and yeah, it's going to be a, a long road, or is, how far you want to go down the rabbit hole is up to you. Okay, so after you disable that, uh, disable mod txt file that is in here, and it's going to be pretty obvious. It's going to sit right up here at the top, um, and you're, it says disable mods. It's going to scream out at you. Delete it. It's fine. It's going to come back after an update. Next thing you're going to want to do is right-click in here and add a folder. <clears throat> so, yeah, oh, hold on, let me get a right click. New, add folder, call it mods, stick it in there, you're fine. That's where you're going to be putting your mods, okay? And where you're uh, going to come and, and check out things uh, for later. So right now you can see I got my two, my ships of more and uh, my some winter TP mods that are in there. There's not too many options at this moment. So with that being said, now that you're kind of set up to... Uh, to, to look at things and, and to get in and out of your folders easily and this is where your location is going to be at you know your uh, disable mod uh, txt file needs to be d uh, uh, deleted and re-deleted after every update now you're set to go get some mods now 
after I've told you that mods are going to be disabled and broken after every update, I like to go to Nexus Mods. I think the other mods uh, place may do this or not. I'm not quite sure, but I've always liked this one, and this has been my home ground for a while. I might move over because I've seen that it's kind of being uh, slimmed down now, and then I just have some friends that uh, uh, we share mods and beta versions amongst each other. So, With that being said, I like Nexus Mods because it saves my it saves my history. So if you make an account here, which is very worth it, you're gonna have some benefits over that. As you can see, I'm on my account right now, and you can see that I've downloaded this version of the game, and there's not been a new version since I've downloaded it. But over here, the unlimited uh, upgrade scans too, um, there is an update. And the last time I tried to use this mod, it wasn't working. The last time I tried to use it, it was the first time I tried to use it, and I think it was the date that it was on. It uh, crashed my game and I just got rid of it. But he's got an update. Maybe I'll try it again. So now I, I see this is I, I can kind of look at things and remember where I'm at uh, on these things. And this is new this week. This is new today, new this week. And then you have this really cool tab right here. If you've been doing this for a long time, you just come into updated and you're going to come down and you can scroll down through and you can see that, like, okay, I've, I've downloaded all these things. I have the uh, updated versions except for Dead Sky. There's an update for that. But then you're going to want to look down at these dates to upload it or last uploaded, uh, uh, last update. That's going to be important. So, you know, you can look and see at the patch notes on the game site for when the last updates were. And you can come over here and, and decide. <clears throat> so, that is uh, what I'd like to say and why I, uh, you know, why I like Nexus Mods and the few things that I thought were made things quick and easier for me um, i also have a few other little things that i do on my desktop too as well so we, we talk about how uh, some mods don't get along and then some mods may still work and then some mods uh, get broken um, also back on here too like if you go into a mod in here you'll see maybe they talk about a um, lua script and things like that those are things that you can um see he doesn't have any in here no but some of them down below the main thing will have an lua script that you can go and fix the mods on if you want to dive in that deep um but some will break and some will keep on working and i like to keep a folder down here so you see, see this, this one says for synthesis uh for synthesis <laughs> i can't talk but you can see i have prisms and pre-expeditions and i have a whole file folder in here uh, with some things that I haven't quite given up on yet uh, and what I'll do with this and you know if you have some time and things like that you can kind of uh, you know I'll take these ones and, and pull them out and I'll have a new folder you'll see uh, do I have one that called new stuff no so I might have a, I usually have a folder out here that might say new or uh, current or something like that and I'll I'll take these in and out and, and if I have a problem what I'll do is I'll I will uh, you know, maybe if you go into the game and all of a sudden it keeps on crashing, we'll take winter, uh, you know, take the hub flag one out and set it over to the side in one of the folders and you can delete it and then go back into the game. If it still crashes, take the, take the ship some more out and then put the, uh, the winter, uh, hub, winter hub flag back into the game and, and then you kind of test and see maybe which mods are causing the conflict. So that's kind of what I do and it's been fair for me the whole time so that's how I uh, do my modding and uh, on a basic level with some key elements that I think were uh, nice key points that were missing out of some of the other videos so please hit like and subscribe thank you for coming by